Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to Kuzco. You're in EU4. Common Sense. Version 1.13 beta. So I found out why my internet went out in the last episode. is because the cat stepped on the power button to the uninterruptible power supply for the router. So I just had to turn that back on, and we're back online. Hooray! And for everyone in Twitch, you didn't really miss anything. We finished our war with Chimu by full annexing him. And uh, we put down a bunch of rebels. We're going to have more rebels spawn, but that's all right. We got our first idea, our first um, a th religious reform through for colonization. And we have colonized Madre de Dios. We are on a quest to reach the eastern area of South America. That's going to take some time, but we'll get there. And uh, in the meantime, let's just continue. We have an inflation advisor. We're losing about, well, it's about a ducat a month when we're at full strength. So hopefully we can, uh, you know, coast along with this losing a duck at a month, and it won't really bother me too much. Nope, no one gets royal marriages. No siree, Bob. No siree, Bob. Bob. We're probably going to be dealing with rebels from either Chimu or Wanka soon. Uh, so we do have an army in the area, in the vicinity. And we should be able to go back and forth and just take out whatever spawns. We're going to use one Merc to protect the colony. And let's see, Kaja Moroccan, okay. Chimu's going to be first. Now the problem with Chimu Rebels is we don't know where they're going to spawn, right? They could be anywhere along here. I'm going to keep my army in the Mountain Province. In fact, I think I'm going to split. I'm going to put half in this Mountain Province and half in this Mountain Province. Because the other three, Grasslands, Desert, and Desert, the other three have no attack penalty. So if we have to attack the rebels, if they spawn in these three provinces, it's fine. But if we have to attack rebels in these two provinces, which are both mountains, that's not cool. I don't want to take a negative two to all my dice rolls just because I'm standing in the wrong province. So we're going to position ourselves in the correct provinces. In the meantime, we are fabricating on Quito and Huila because I want to annex and vassalize and annex and lower autonomy and all that shit with, with these dorks. So let's do that. There we go. And we were planning on a war down here in the South Andes. And the question is, how do we go about this war? We could attack Kola. But I think what we're going to do is break our alliance with Pakajez. Because he looks weak. I want Pakajez to get weaker. So let's break our alliance here. Alright, screw off Pakajez. He's got no allies now. So he is ripe for the picking, and I expect him to get crushed by one of these two, or both. Man, this colonist is going to take a long time. What missions are out there anyway? Royal marriage with Huila. I don't want to do that. Manpower needs to recover. Yeah, we'll do that eventually, I guess. Uh, what's our cap? 16,000. Eh, I don't know if I want to wait that long. I'm definitely not doing this royal marriage. And I can't incorporate Chucha, or Chachapoya, this guy. I can't incorporate him for another four years, so I don't know why that mission's even available. I guess what we can do is cycle missions. Yeah. Restoration of Cusco completes. After almost 20 years, the great project of reconstructing Cusco is complete. The land has been leveled to create huge plazas and beautiful buildings erected. The nearby rivers have been led into canals. The city is built to be the capital of an empire rather than a small kingdom, and it's organized into four regions matching the way which we divide our realm in the Andes. The royal center is located at the junction of the regions of Ancisiu, Culiasiu, and Cuntisiu, and whatever, and these regions divide the Cusco Valley as well as our empire. Nice! So we get prestige and legitimacy for the rest of the game. Wow! Very nice. So I guess that's part of the chain events, huh? That's pretty cool. It'd be really nice if all of the uh, nations down here could get that. I guess if they conquer the province of Cusco, they should then get those events. That would be amazing. Surprisingly, no one has declared on Pacajes yet. They will. They will. Give them time, right? Give them time. Alright, we got one more claim going, and then we're going to attack Huila. 
I do want to fight these rebels before we go to war, though. They're about to spawn. 90%? Yeah. One in four chance they'll spawn every month? Cool. Hopefully they spawn before Wanka. Yeah, they should. Alright, one more claim. Come on, spawn, you piece of shit. Come on, one and four, one and four. No dice. Come on. Damn it. They're just not spawning. Please? Oh. The other one's only at 7% chance. But watch the other one. Watch the 7% chance trigger before the 24% chance does. Conquer Chuchuikabo. Where the fuck is Chuchuikabo? Is that down here? I'm sorry. Where the fuck is Chuchuikabo? Oh, there. Yeah. Alright. I'll take that mission. I already have a claim on it, but whatever. Fuck, come on, spawn! 24% chance. Just do it! Non enforcement of ordinances. Autonomy in Jaoja. Um. No, just spend the admin points. I got lots of admin points. Border friction. Uh, piss off Hoyla or lose diplo points. I don't really care if we piss off Hoyla. So, yeah, piss off Hoyla. Mm hmm. I'm going to be annexing him anyway. Whatever, man. Come on, spawn. Spawn, what the fuck? How are we not getting this 24%? Month after month after month. Yeah, there we go, finally. Okay. So they spawned in the grasslands and in the mountains. Cool. I'm okay with this. Now we need to get back to these two provinces, Jaoja and Huana, whatever it's called, before the rebels spawn there. They're at 90%, but they're only at 6% chance per month. So hopefully we get there before they spawn. Yeah, grasslands is fine with me. Drop off one merc. I guess I should merge him. Drop off one merc. Alright, now all of our claims are done, so we're ready for war. As soon as these rebels spawn, I'm ready for war. Will they spawn, though? They may not spawn. They might be, like, totally troll. We'll see. Oh, Twitch chat's back. Hi, Twitch chat. I haven't seen you in a while. Alright, good. We're ready for the rebels. Go ahead and spawn. Lay it on me. Watch it not happen now. <laughs> it's not gonna happen, is it? Come on, spawn! Spawn! It's only a 4% chance per month, but, you know... It should happen. Please. Maybe? Put the speed up. Come on, spawn. Spawn! 
Maybe I just declare the war and say fuck this. Alright, well, I gave you enough time. You didn't spawn. They're at 2% chance to spawn now. We'll deal with them later. In the meantime, break our alliance. And we're going to declare on Quito and call in Huila as a co-belligerent. All right, we're good. This guy should be easy. Full annex. Full annex. Hopefully they don't group up a stack of 18, though. That would be scary shit. Although they are still tech 1, so I guess they're not that scary. I wonder if we could get everything sieged out before he sieges one province. It's possible. Unlikely, but possible. Oh, nope. He is coming for an attack up here, apparently. Nope. It looks like he didn't want to attack at all. Interesting. Hmm. I wonder what this army is up to. Alright, now he's abandoned his siege. I guess he wants to come fight in his capital. Which is fine. You can abandon sieges all day. Oh, look, he abandoned it, now he's going back to siege it again. Alright. Yep. He just walked off and came back. Not that he had any siege progress to lose, but it's still funny that he was willing to walk off of the siege and then just go right back to it. Like, you didn't see that. I didn't just walk off the siege. Yeah, you did. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. Check mark on. Alright, he walked off the siege again. This is interesting. Now he looks like he wants to fight. Yeah, he's coming to fight. So I'm going to vacate the siege. going to sort of chill. Don't mind us. Okay, 21% down here. Good.
I think he's going to go either for my capital or for this sieging army. I'm not sure. We'll find out. If he wants to go to the capital, he's welcome to it. It'll take him forever to siege. Oh, really? You just got the water? Yeah. God damn it. He got a water shortage event. Fuck you, dude. Oh, he's going to siege down this fort. Okay. Go ahead and siege that fort. You have fun with that. So if we're unlucky, he'll finish this siege up here. I don't want him to finish that siege. Let's see if we can get lucky. Uh, we might go attack him, actually. Yeah, we, we didn't get lucky on our siege. Neither did he, though. Good. Yeah, I'm going to attack him. We are attack ahead. It should be fine. We're attacking into the jungle. Should be a negative one, negative two. Depends on if we get a river crossing. Come on, hurry up. Finish the battle. Finish the battle before backup arrives. Yes. Good. Now, can we crush him here? We might crush him here. It's possible. Oh, we didn't crush him. Damn it. Oh, yes, we did. Good. Woohoo! Can we reach another trade node yet? That's a good question. The answer is no. Not yet. I need to grab a, a small army to go siege the capital. I think I want to use my mercs, though. Yeah. Alright, finish the damn siege, please. Please. Yes. Okay, go siege the capital. Nope, no marriage. Get out of here. So can we piece you out yet? Yep. Goodbye. And we can't lower autonomy because we're at war. But we can do it as soon as we peace out. And I think we're just going to take Quito as a vassal. Yes. Because I want to do just annexations back and forth between two vassals. Uh-oh, you have banned talking about the Boston Bruins. Why would you do that? Hello, Mapuche. Hmm, he lost his alliances, lol. Presumably because nations can no longer see him. Oh, no, that shouldn't break alliances. Their opinion changed for some reason. Okay, good, good. So all we have to do is finish our siege before he finishes his, and we're golden. How are we on inflation? Because I have an inflation advisor. Uh, 1.6, not bad. Oh, he's not continuing his siege. Interesting. I wonder if he's going to come attack me. You know what? I think he's going to come attack me, which means... Well... I need to leave an army down here. I have to, so that this guy won't be... No, you know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. Let him siege. We'll come back and get him. No marriage. Get out of here.
Twitch mods are oppressing you? Nah, it's your imagination. Twitch mods are never oppressive, you know that. Hopefully we can get there before he before the battle's over, right? He's going to attack us. We got the walls busted. Oh man, I really want to get there quickly now. Shit, it's going to take us forever to get there. No, we got the walls busted. You tease. You tease. How dare you tease me like this game. Oh, there goes our busted walls. Shit. That's all right. It's just fucking annoying, that's all. Oh, we didn't kill him, really. All right, he did. He did. Squish. Yeah. All right, good. So let's get our ass down to here. And we'll send the mercs back up to siege. Where are you going? You're going to the capital. Of course you are. Colony is going very slowly. Zero growth per year. Wow. So we only get 10 colonists per year from our technology. And because it's tropical, we're getting negative 10. Wow. That just sucks. So if all of this is tropical, until we get down to Cochabamba, then this is the first non-tropical one. There's only a couple. All the rest of these are tropical. Huh. So it would have been smarter to go for the coastline here because it's non-tropical. Well, I am not a smart man. This much we know. Zero colonists per year, though. That's pretty special. All right, my vassal's going to go help siege up here. Good, good. In fact, I should be able to take my army out entirely when the vassal arrives. Kill the colony and start over? Eh. But it's at 260 already. Alright, hurry up, vassal. Get up here. Yes. Good. So he's going to siege for me. I don't have to stand there no more. I'm surprised these Wanka rebels have not moved. Uh, whoa. Lose stability or gain a whole buttload of autonomy everywhere? Now, if I gain the autonomy, can I hit the lower autonomy button everywhere? Because that would be nice. I don't think I can, though. I don't think you can lower autonomy unless it's at least 25. Although I am not 100% sure. I think if I raise it by 15, I won't be able to lower it.
It decreases my authority? Okay. Wait, you're saying this decreases my authority? But there's no... It doesn't say it decreases authority. You lose authority by accepting more autonomy. But it doesn't say you lose authority. So you're saying that you do lose the authority even though it doesn't tell you anything. And you are saying we can lower autonomy if we accept this. Hmm. Do it for science. Yeah. There's lots of people saying you lose authority even though it's even though it doesn't tell you you lose authority, you still lose it. But it, they also say we will be able to lower our autonomy. But the thing is, if we lose, let's say we lose autonomy, or let's say we lose five authority for every province here, that's we'd be down to zero, right? It still might be worth it. Hmm. Oh shit, rebels spawned. Did my vassal lose his army? Oh god damn it. I didn't even notice. My rebels just spawned and my vassals probably lost their entire army. God damn it. That's so annoying. I guess we will science it, but you're right. We can't lower autonomy while we're we can't lower autonomy while we're at peace while we're at, while we're at war. So we're gonna have to peace out of this war first, which means we got to finish this damn siege, which could take a long ass time. So we could be sitting on uh, all this autonomy for a while. Yep. See you, B dude. Have a good night. There's nothing here about autonomy. Alright, kick his ass. Might as well wait for the end of the month. You know what? We might as well wait until he's almost done with the siege. Yeah, I'm just gonna wait. Let him let him hurry up on the siege. Let him do this do the work. And we'll we'll go attack him when his siege progress is positive. Okay, so the autonomy just triggered. I didn't. I never clicked any buttons. Uh, where is the autonomy? There it is. And yes. So even though it didn't say anything about losing authority, we just lost all of our authority. All of it. Gone. Because of that autonomy increase. So even though the button didn't say anything about authority, we just lost all of our authority. 53 or whatever it was. Gone. That sucks. No, we can't use our second merchant. Everything is too far away. So hurry up with the siege. 7%. Uh, that's good enough. Yes, I know you said it, but you do realize that there are hundreds of people in chat. And not all of you can be correct. Believe it or not, there were several people who said we wouldn't lose the authority. But we did. Science Guy says well, we're going to end up with more authority by, go by taking that event. We'll see. Found some tobacco. Okay. You can turn off the check mark now. Diplotech? What does this do? Trade range? That doesn't really help us. Mitmac wants to go home. Hmm. With the conquest of new lands, we have come across groups of people that have been forcibly moved as Mitmac from one, one region to another to the, by their former overlords. As Mitmac are not allowed to change the way they speak, the clothes they wear, and have, and have to take all their property with them, the people have never stopped to yearn for their original homes. 
As it happens, their area of origin is also under our control, and a delegation from the Mi'kmaq has therefore been sent before Tupac, claiming that their Huacas have told them to return, begging us to, to lift their obligations. Allow the Mi'kmaq to return? Or no, they're needed elsewhere. Sure. Allow them to return. Why not? Whatever. Just moves one base tax around. That's all. All right. And that was a quick siege. So we can peace out and let's see how much authority we gain back. Uh, become my vassal, you little bitch. Give me damn monies. Oh, he's got lots of monies. Good times. Okay. So we have two vassals now. And I can start annexing you. And let's go ahead and raise autonomy everywhere. Or lower autonomy everywhere. I know what I meant to say. So, no. We wound up with a lot less authority. So that event was not worth it. We we lost overall we lost because this this fifteen was never was never involved. So we only got twenty authority back after we lost fifty three. So overall we lost twenty eight authority. That was not worth it. Timer, yeah, but we were doing science. Anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you so much for joining me. I have been Shen, you have been you. Uh, we lost 28 authority because of that event. But now we know that even though the event did not say you would lose authority, you did lose authority. Yeah, we did science. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.